I would say read broadly, read broadly. Um, you know, one of the things that worries me about game studies is the degree to which sort of materialist, post-structuralist, post-colonialist sort of readings are sort of not there. Um, uh, sometimes just sort of markedly absent. So in the, some of the early Vedology things you have, I think it was um, Arseth saying that, you know, games can't be text because texts are only this and this and this. Um, so that, um, I, I, I think that in addition to going through the, you know, work cited page or the references or at the end of end of a, of a book like um, Jen and Rylish's connect collection that's coming out or the game culture reader or there's a sort of a, other um, sort of collections like that. Also um, there's a lot of work in medieval studies that's going on in studies in medievalism about games at the Kalamazoo conference and so almost every field has this kind of a emerging game sort of thing so it's kind of like okay how do we connect, and this isn't to say colonize, because I think the Lerdologists were, were absolutely right about this point, that, that more established fields, um, and what I'm going to be sort of presenting it later at Seas, I think um, especially, yes, literary studies and yes, film studies have done it, but also education has really colonized gang studies in a way that kind of does a disservice to um, you know, we just can't look at what we want to see in games and look at what's brilliant and positive and fun about them. I think we also have to be, you know, Marx said that capitalism is the best thing that happened to the world and the worst thing that happened to the world. And that to understand capitalism, you have to understand both of these perspectives at once. And so when we're playing these games and we're reading these texts, you have to kind of say, okay, well, what about this? What about this? Um, and so, you know, a, a, a lot of times um, I think people go into game studies and they sort of say, oh, I need to leave everything I knew about everything and anything behind because this is a brand new medium and it's constructing me in, in this different way. But people have been playing games since whatever. And as I sort of tell my students, narrative is itself a game. Um, we don't see it as a game anymore because it's been reified to us through through print culture, um, but there are rules and things like that, and um, you can see it emerging. Um, Pat Bratlinger has this great book, The Reading Lesson. You can see this kind of game emer as a narrative emerging, or Tristram Shandy's another sort of great example. And um, what I want to say is that there are connections between Gaming doesn't exist in vacuum. It's not brand new, and it is brand new. And so, just kind of say, okay, let's don't abandon your own field or your own perspectives or your own criticism, but see how they sort of tie in, and see as Jason Thompson really did an interesting presentation at Albuquerque on 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 Burke, and he sort of said he realized that that Burke, instead of trying to make the games fit to Burke, maybe that he needed to, that Burke was. To make try to make Burke what we need to add to Burke to 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 do that fit so the I think, games. to fit the games and so I think that's my advice. Um, I would look to the Southwest Texas uh, Popular Culture Association American Culture Association conference. There's a particular thread of uh, of conference of uh, what would you call it. Um, a game studies thread, mm -hmm. games, culture, games and, and culture. Games and GSC, game studies, culture, practice and play, or right. play and practice. Mm -hmm. um, every year we get together, uh, all, all the L LGI folks get together and, and have a wonderful conference. We, um, we typically talk about our game scholarship all day long and play games all night long. And go um, to so, dinner together. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would definitely recommend that as a, as a conference to get involved in. Um, also, there are uh, listservs for game study scholars, um, and there are emerging programs all over the world. Um, so I would I would jump on that uh, on on a game studies listserv. Uh, I would uh, start reading uh, early Weisinger, Kaiwa, uh, Brian Sutton Smith, 
and I would play, as, as Kevin mentioned, to read broadly, I would say to play broadly. Right. Yeah. And um, I, I think that's the most important thing, is, is to play as many games as you can get your hands on.